Okay, let's get started. I'm going to torque these heads down. But before I do that, I'm going to loosen up all the rocker arms. Because when I install the timing belt, I'm going to need to be able to... God, move the camshaft easily. And the tension on all the valves makes that difficult to say the least so take all these bolts loose so the uh, cam will turn without any resistance and it will allow me to turn the uh, cam preventing the valves from touching the uh, piston right, let me do this in a quicker fashion now okay the first round on the head bolts is 65 start in the middle and start in the middle and work your way out like so and then go back and do it two more times I think at 45 or well, maybe it's 45 and then 65 of course you do your tightening and do it a quarter turn okay you got the first round of torquing done it was 45 pounds plus a quarter turn holy crap I gotta do it twice more but next time at 65 plus a quarter turn and I'm gonna tell you what these things are going to be heavy tight. Really, really tight. I don't know. This don't seem like a good idea. It doesn't look good, does it? It's just rotten. It's falling apart rotten. All right, here we go. We're going to do it again. Okay, got the second round done. Oddly enough, the quarter turn from the first time I took it almost to 65 on almost every one of them. One, one, uh, need a little bit of tightening. And we'll do it one more round of 65 plus quarter turn. All right. All right. All right. Oh, that was quite a workout. So they're t they're tight. Torque torque the head bolts down. They are tight. Holy cow! Those quarter turns are monstrous. They just don't turn easy. I would imagine it's somewhere around 150 foot pounds of torque by now. With all of it, it has to be. But they're all tight. It should be okay. All right. The next thing I'm gonna do is install the little manifold it's right here and it's all cleaned up let me get this stuff out of the way here because that goes down that wire to the knock sensor has got to be out of the way the glove what are you doing here put this wire well things hung up Tangled up in here. Of course. Everything's going to get tangled up. There we go. Tuck that wire back there behind. The, behind everything. Put that down. Wish it was something that would hold them. They got these little dimples. They go in these holes. See here. And uh. If all goes well, that, that should hold it. There we go. That should hold it. I'm going to have to uh, release this and ease it down. But I really need my hands. That went easy enough. Now if I can only remember which bolts it was. They're all the same size. Some of them hold down the the uh, fuel rails, I recall. 
So I may as well just lay the fuel rail down in there. I ain't getting new gaskets. I mean, row rings. So we'll have to just trust them to be good. So let's ease this down in here. May have to. Now oh, look, I put that one back in. Where is it? Oh well, I'll manipulate it in a minute. Well, the fuel rail and the injector slid right in. I was able to install this one too. It's all down against the manifold itself. So now just get the bolts and put it together. And I believe it was these bolts. I'm not a hundred percent certain at this point. Only three of these. Eh, I'm gonna review some old video and make sure before I go any further. Could be these. Not certain. Not 100% certain. It's going to have to be a set of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. I did not have to review the video. This is the only set of eight bolts that I have that is the appropriate size. So I'll just plop them right down in their holes. Yep. And these are difficult to manipulate all in one hand. All right. This one. And these two. And we'll get me a 13 millimeter. Yep. I'm going to stick it on my power drill and spin them on in. Yep. The gasket looks good here and here. Yep. Good. Then one more down. Ooh. Start them all a little bit first. There it is. Woo! Went down too far. Zipping them down. Yeah, there we go. That one's not right. Uh, I guess it doesn't go in. These go in. Okay. All of them went in, but this one. And I don't know why. Let's look at the gasket. It looks good. That's not the problem. Let's see if we can zip it now. I'm just being cantankerous. All right, that's together. Excellent. Now we can start working with the timing cover. Yeah. Boy, what a bitch it is, too. I have to remember everything that I know about it. Get that out of the way there. Get this out of the way. All right. I forgot about something. I'm gonna have to fix the threads in this bolt hole. Uh, so I'm gonna have to uh, get the proper tap.
to clean that up and go get the bolts. And what I may have to do is get a bolt that's long enough to go all the way deep into the threads here. It's not open on the back end, which is unfortunate. This bolt here is not in a good way. I wonder if it'll fit in here. No, it's like it's too big altogether. See, that fits it. And does this go in here? No, those threads are boogered up. I wonder if it's even broke off in there. I wish we could see. Let me see if I can turn on my little light on this camera and get any action out of it. Let's see here. There we go. What do we see in there? Now we just see trash up in there. I don't see a broken bolt. I don't. Well, I have to get that trash out of it. Got my spray stuff somewhere around here. I was hoping I would be able to install this timing cover. I've been fiddling around with cleaning it up and stuff to get the gasket material off of it. Well, the silicone in the previous install. But I see here that the bolt that I'm concerned about, the bolt hole, I have to clean that up first before I can install a new bolt. So that's going to have to be my next task is fixing the threads on that bolt hole and doing something with them. Uh, I'm gonna get the other cover. Oh, it's right there. I, I ain't dealing with that. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm not too, hold on, no it's not. It's a sheet metal cover, I think. It's been a few days since I took this thing apart, and it's. I hate doing this like this because it's easy to get confused. Here, here's the sheet metal cover. That will go on after everything else. Yeah, that's the way it goes. So the boat's going to have to go into here do all of this stuff. It's got to be long enough. And I gotta get it tight. And I'm not gonna have any trouble with it. So, gotta clean up those threads first. I don't know if I use a helicoil or attempt to just clean up what's there or what, but I have to do something like that. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Time for my magic to start happening.